<clears throat> Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday and welcome to another vlog to find to out honest. what happened with that load if to you saw honest, the last vlog. I'm not happy. Oh my gosh, what a what a whip. <laughs> Man, so if you didn't see the last vlog, we brought a load to Las Vegas from Pennsylvania. It was 9,000 pounds worth of fireworks to a residence. But they weren't leaving it at the residence. They basically met us there with two vans to unload all this eight pallets of fireworks into two little cargo vans. And how long did that take? That was like, what, three and a half hours? Yeah, three and, and a half hours. And a hundred and... Oh my God, I don't even like know, it's 10, hot. <laughs> 110 degree weather, it's, yeah, ridiculously oh, hot. Oh my goodness. And we weren't, so like, the type of service we offer is expedite. Which means we charge extra for things like pallet jack. If you want us to pallet jack your freight inside, that's an extra charge. If you want the lift gate service, that's an extra charge. If you want uh, driver unload service, that's that's all extra yeah. charges. And I, I don't think a lot of companies understand that part because they don't request it to begin with and then they expect you to do it for free. Mm -hmm. We don't mind helping. Yeah, no, not, not 8,000 or nine, 10,000 pounds worth of firework helping. I'm not doing that for free. I don't work for free. What's funny is when we were uh, talking with the, the agent about the load, at first they said we needed the lift gate and stuff, but then they yeah. said, no, we didn't need it, that we didn't, yeah. we, it was no touch. We yeah. weren't, they were gonna yeah. load it and unload they it. They were which, unloading, they were loading and unload. And we helped on yeah. both ends oh, yeah. a yeah. little bit. Absolutely. We, we always do that just because they were cool people. They were really nice. They, they're all offering us beers yeah. and <laughs> like, no, I can't. <laughs> can't have a beer, but no, thank no. you. Yeah. But they offered waters. And, water, yeah, I mean, beer, really yeah. super nice, super Super nice guys, but there was only two guys unloading 9,000 pounds of fireworks. I don't even and remember how many cases of fireworks it was, but 171 oh my gosh. on the paperwork it said. Yeah, it, it was. It's basically a pyrotechnics company. Because I was like, God, is this for an individual person doing a fireworks show? I'm like, surely they're not getting this many fireworks. But it ended up, it's, yeah, it's a pyrotechnics uh, company. Yeah, so it's all yeah. professional. Professional, professional style, fireworks. yeah, it's not the kind you just light a lighter and yeah. it goes <laughs> Right, it's not a bottle rocket. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, yeah, but I mean, yeah, it's a... Delivery it's, done. It, yes. it, it's another one in the books. It was a, you know, they don't all go perfect. It was yeah. a pain in the butt. It was the a agent pain was butt. bugging a little, um, you know, they... We don't mind, I, I understand, oh, like... Yeah. I understand some drivers just don't get the job done yeah. like they're supposed yeah. to you know and they they all it's never their fault that they never got it done on time or so i understand that agents and dispatchers and brokers they all have to deal with that but when you got the crafties on the job <laughs> the crafties don't play we don't we play get the job done. yeah we get it we have never been <laughs> late we never lollygag we don't you know yeah. We, we just, we're, we're all about business, but it, it's just one of my pet peeves. All drivers have pet peeves. Oh, yeah. And my pet peeve is being babysitted by a dispatch or a broker or agent calling, asking where I'm at and if I'm going to make delivery or not. If I'm not going to make delivery, I call you. Yeah. You know, I will call you. And if I break down or, <laughs> you know, all that stuff, but... It is what it is. Yeah. That's just one of my pet peeves. We all have pet peeves. Mm -hmm. and we do. But they know, were good agents. They're really nice people. I, I mean, I, absolutely what we got paid for the load was worth the load. I mean, it was, I'm not, it was, I'm, we're not saying that we didn't get paid more. enough. Could have been a <laughs> it little could always more. be a little more, right? We always <laughs> want more. Yeah. But now, yeah, but yeah, it took a while. But we're done. We're starving. It is It is 3.30 in Vegas now. And yeah. we haven't eaten all day. All day. Jason, I had took over this morning and like because Jason still is running on recap hours I got a 34 so he stopped this morning at uh, it was meteor crater rest area and I had about an hour before I could take over so I took over from there and got us here and he got up right before we got to the drop-off yeah I, I still I only have seven hours and three minutes on my total yeah, clock how much do you gain but then I gain seven hours tonight but only four but the only next night. But only four the next night. So we really need to try. Well, we don't have any loads lined up 
right now, so we may be sitting this whole weekend. I don't know. I don't. What are we doing? I do we're gonna get mind. something to eat. But we're we're getting something to eat, and I think we're heading down to California. I'm not staying in this Las Vegas heat. It's too hot. Not all weekend either, and it's it just as hot down in like Barstow, our favorite place. So. I think we may end up going down to Ontario. Check out that My new Flying J. My favorite place. Yeah, both of our own favorite places. I don't but. know about checking out that Flying J. I went on and read reviews, and everybody just says it's just always mobbed and packed in it's there. It's new, though. Of course it's going to be mobbed and packed. Everybody's checking it out. and Oh, my gosh, there's another truck stop other than TA do they and have Petro. A, do they have an RV dump there? Oh, I don't know. Because if, I would if think. we're going to be sitting Because there's a lot of RVs that, you know, people... We'll have to look because yeah, we'll it don't even show a picture on Google Maps. It's because so it's new. still being built, yeah. Oh, or on Google Maps, yeah. yeah. We'll have to call and ask if they have an RV dump. All right, all right, go we're eat. gonna go eat. We'll keep you guys posted on what happens this weekend. How yeah. about that? We're yeah. hot. I need a shower. I need something to yeah. eat. I'm getting hangry. She get hangry. <laughs> I'm getting stankry. <laughs> from the KOA in uh, Barstow, California. Barstow, California. <laughs> Happy early 4th. It is the third today. Oh my gosh. I don't know when's this video come out. Wednesday. So 4th will be over for you, but yeah. it's tomorrow for us. But <laughs> hope everyone had an amazing 4th and safe and Yes. After we got delivered yesterday, I don't. I think we did a clip after we delivered. Yeah. But we ended up um, coming down to the TA in Barstow. Stayed the night there last night. Didn't get no calls yesterday no or today. Calls, no loads came across today. Yeah, so we were like, screw it. We're just going to go to the KOA for the weekend. and Better than running the generator all weekend. Yeah, yeah. It, this isn't the best KOA. I mean, it's it's an RV park. Flies the pool, everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> it's hot. It's, it's the hot. desert. It's the desert. There's brush and yeah. Yeah, but we've got a picnic table, we've got a spot, we've got water, we've got the pooper dome, we've got electricity. We are going to chill here yeah. for the weekend. Uh, I am going to bust out the Traeger grill tomorrow. And Ooh, yeah, we're going to have, I got, I took some brats out to, to thaw and a tri-tip. So tri we're going to do probably brats tomorrow for 4th of July yep. and the tri-tip Sunday. And just enjoy our weekend. Good, yeah. Yeah. I've I've learned a couple tips on cooking the tri tip, uh, removing some silver skin off of it. So I'll be doing that. I'll be trimming it up quite a bit better than than what normally comes from the store. So it should be good. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm just glad to have a weekend off after oh, gosh, my gosh. running for we almost ran. a week and a half nonstop. We ran our butts <laughs> off. We did. Let me fix this camera here. There we go. I think now we're all low. <laughs> uh, get it. There we go. Get that right angle. <laughs> yeah. Uh, At least we got now the sun's starting to go down behind the truck, so we got some shade here with our little picnic table, which yeah. is nice. Cause... Yeah. Yeah. And the grill's just right here. Uh, I'll probably just set my Traeger on top of it. It's cool. They have um, the shore power here is for a 120 volt too, so I'll plug up my extension cord and run it under the truck over here, so we don't have to run the generator for that. But yeah, wonder if we'll be able to see any fireworks from here. No, oh, I bet you, I bet you will be seeing some because okay. all around here is like uh, there's trails and people go out and ride their dune buggies and four wheelers and you know do that desert life stuff and. We did check the KOA. There's a KOA in uh, San Diego that oh. um, our friends of ours have stayed at in a straight truck before, but they were booked. Booked. Zero availability. Yeah. Ain't but nobody want to stay out here in the desert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Except us. <laughs> no, we didn't want to come here. We didn't here. want to, but... I was looking for other KOAs or campgrounds closer to the coast, and 
but most of them are going to be fold up. I called a couple. They were booked. Yeah, uh, especially with the holiday weekend. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. And I just wanted to relax. I didn't want to go. I don't want to go do nothing this weekend. I know. We're just going to chill. Just relax and get ready for next week. And I hopefully know. Busy Freight continues. And Yeah, yeah. It's this. <laughs> It's looking up. I mean, we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I was hoping we'd have a load lined up for next week, but I think, I know home office, Landstar home office is closed today, so yeah. I'm sure a lot of agents took off today, too. Yeah, and yeah. So, which is, I mean, everybody needs some time off, right? Yeah. So, and it gives us the everything. weekend off. <laughs> they just had two, three months off. I know. <laughs> Nobody needs no time off. Let's get to work. No. Well, Landstar wasn't <laughs> off. They were working from home. They were working from home. Yeah, but, I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. We had, yeah we'll, good we'll, to have some time off. And yeah. Especially for us, too. Like, we're... I we're was, worn out we're after... We're worn out. Yeah, oh, It was golly. so nice to lay down in the bed and just watch TV last night. I know. That it was, was nice to, to sleep together sleep in the bed. Sleep together, yeah. After a week and a half yeah. of running. And we, we laid in bed together and watched TV and fell asleep. Cuddled with the babies. Fell asleep, let, forgot the TV on. I know. And <laughs> <laughs> it was nice to sleep in it this nice morning. It was nice I slept until 10 o'clock. Uh, he did. I was Local time. Up. But it, that's 12 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Our time, so. I got up about two hours before you did. Yeah. Because I wanted to get some editing done, but man, well, yeah, we're so, we're, yeah, we're just going to have kind of a lazy weekend. We do have a few things we want to get done, but nothing major, and no. I'm sure we'll check up with you at least one more time before we end the vlog. I'm sure. Cool. All right. Let's enjoy our weekend. That's all we got now. <laughs> Sunday fun day y'all man we've had such a nice weekend it's been all right <laughs> <laughs> other than it being like hot miserably hot oh, not just hot miserably it, yeah, I mean, dry hot <laughs> the sun is just oh my gosh <laughs> Uh, we're in and, the desert. What do you expect? Well, and there's like really nothing to do right now because of all the yeah. shutdown and... It would have been nice if the pool was open. If they don't even have water in the pool. They're, <clears throat> we went and did laundry this morning and their dryers were out. Yeah, they only had... They have like eight or nine dryers and only, only two of them were in operation. A lot of the washers were out of order. We were able to get it all done, yeah, but yeah, yeah like they really should need to do some improvements for sure we're gonna have to come back here during cooler weather yeah because like they do have like a playground area up front i see an archery thing they have back here um just it's been too hot to even want to go around and explore I know, I know. and then most of that's even closed so i know there's a ghost town close right by here not that far from here they actually usually when they're all fully operational have a shuttle that'll take you there yeah, and yeah. but of course that's all closed down and i mean it's just been nice though to be able to, to relax to, yes and not be in a truck stop all weekend yeah. and we spent all morning today cleaning the truck and mm -hmm. cleaning the doggies and cleaning ourselves and <laughs> we actually have some friends that are coming they're landstar um tractor trailer drivers yeah 
and they're they were in Ontario they have a rental car for the weekend they, they don't pick up their load I think till tomorrow and we had told them we were here so they're coming down we're gonna barbecue a tri-tip and yep. hang out with them this evening so that'll be really they're, fun they're picking up uh, some sides to go with the tri-tip and then some uh, stuff to make s'mores and we're gonna get some campfire wood and yeah. hopefully it's not too windy because I know like yeah if there's too much wind they won't allow a fire yeah which is understandable yeah yeah so we'll see yeah hopefully the wind i know the last couple evenings the wind has died down in the evening so. yeah but it's a little windy right now yeah like yeah. we got the wind coming from our back and it feels like a blow dryer it just. does i mean it's much nicer in the shade but even in the breeze but yeah it's still just so hot yeah, but yeah. man yeah but it's it's really been nice it's and been a nice enjoyable weekend yeah we I, hope everybody had a happy and safe fourth yeah. and got to enjoy it we didn't see no fireworks no nope. No. <laughs> California put a crackdown on that. I think, I think a lot so. to do with like fire stuff, but then also they don't want no gatherings and. I, yeah, that's true. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. yeah. I know that we were talking to the security guy here the other night, and he said even when they are able to open up the pool, they're going to have to have some kind of permit to only allow a certain amount of people in there and. It's just crazy, but yeah, we figured we would jump on and go ahead and end this vlog here because we're just going to enjoy the evening with our friends tonight. Yep. In the next vlog, we're going to head up to head Ontario. Down. Or head, oh, head is it down. down. Head, head down, down to Ontario. Hopefully, we'll have a good week this next week. Hopefully. We'll see what happens. Yep. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys, as always, for watching and subscribing. And tell our next video. Peace, love, and expediting.